come with me everybody if i show you how i made this prop zebra prop so i got on adobe um i inserted a picture of a zebra and when you go to the print option this is where you can start creating it to a poster size so in the printing option you click on poster and if you see there there's a scale right now of 100 percent so you go over to the picture you see there's a line in between which breaks the page in half and it's only 11 by 17. i need this thing huge so I come over here to the scale and I up it, I up the percentage to about 500. I don't press enter. I just hit that little percent box next to it in the inches and it ups it to about 66 by 51. That's about 36 pages that's going to print out of my machine. I can do that. That's, that's, that's big enough for the prop I need. So it prints out, as you can see, all the pages and they break up in pieces. So what I need to do, I'm a visualizer. So I have to lay it all on the floor. On each page, it has numbers. So it has like 1-1, 1-2, 1-3. When you get to the second level, it'll say 2-1, 2-2. So that's what I do. I just follow the pattern of the zebra. I lay it all out so I can see it. I can see what it looks like. Um, once I do all that and I lay it out, I have to look at it because again, I have, to, I have to see and understand that the pieces are collectively together. Once they're all together, um, I'm gonna tape it. I'm gonna grab each piece, each piece, and I'm gonna cut them like this. So I cut each piece, each box, each area, and when I'm cutting it, I'm also taping. Then I'm gonna get some foam board, um, some old foam board that I just had laying around, and I just wanna see if it fits on this size foam board. Um, if it doesn't, then I know that I have to add extra foam board and I have to tape the foam board down so it can fit the size of the zebra. Because again, this zebra is, is pretty big. So right now I can see that this foam board is not going to work for this size. So I know now at this point, I'm going to have to add extra foam pieces um, to this big, large piece in order to collectively paste this entire thing down. The reason of the foam board is to... Um, adhere to the paper because again this is paper and it's not going to stand up on its own and I need this prop to stand up um by itself um and, uh, and stand up alone without any support um, I am going to put support in the back of it at the end but for now the foam board is what gives the paper strength um to to withhold travel and stability so from here, I'm just going to cut it to size of my legs. And because I have so much extra foam board, all that white space, I'm, I'm one who's not going to waste any product. So I'm going to cut it where I need it. And then I'm just going to repurpose that other part of the cardboard to other parts of the zebra. Because again, I have to make sure that um, all of the paper is covered with some part of a foam board. So from here... I'm just taking this extra piece and I'm just gonna put it to the back of it. So from here, I'm just gonna get all my cardboard pieces and I'm taping them down with white tape. I only use white tape because it's transparent to the white board, which makes it easier and plain to, and it's not noticeable, so it's kind of invisible. So from here, I got all my pieces together. My paper is now to each part of the board I need. I taped down everything. Now is the glue part. So I use Mosh Posh paint for paper. And I just go and grab me a bowl so I can pour some so I'm not wasting any product. Then I grab my sponge brush. And I just go piece by piece. Um, I start with the legs first because those are the ones that are dangling more. Spread it, paste it, done. Flip it over. And I'm just going to glue the whole thing down to the poster board during this step. Just little by little, I'm just going to put glue on each part of the paper, flip it over, and smooth it out. You are going to have little bumps because, again, this is paper trying to adhere to some paste. Um, but that's okay because guess what? Um, on show day, when it's time to set this bad boy up and how you put it there, you're not going to see any of that. Um, so a little bump, smooth it out as much as you can once you put that glue on it, um, and you'll be all right. So from this step is now when I'm when I'm going to start cutting access of the cardboard, and I have to make sure my cutting board is underneath because I'm not going to cut up my counter. I'm using a um, box knife. You can use an exacto knife. This just works perfectly 
Um, and it cuts easy through the cardboard because this is some very thick cardboard that I'm using. So I just go along the edges of the paper, making sure you don't see all the excess white. And I don't throw these pieces away because these big pieces can be used as support for the back. So I'm just going to cut them off and I'm going to set them to the side for now. So from this step, I'm just going to do the legs as well and just cut off all those pieces for the leg portion, making sure um, I have my cutting board underneath so I'm not cutting up my counter because this, again, is a pretty big piece. So I just want to make sure each step is done properly and then I'm not damaging my home in the process. I'm going to get a little closer and then I'm just going to cut off this area of the legs real smooth. You're going to have little pieces that come off, but that's okay. You can use some scissors and just cut off and just cut off those extra pieces. Um, all those access pieces. Yeah, it's going to be a little messy, but that's okay because the, the, the access will come off and you will never even notice those pieces. So I'm just going to give all these little areas an extra smooth cut. Almost done. So it's not too much longer to get all these pieces done little by little. I just have to make sure it's all there and it works functionally. Nothing is cutting off in the process. Okay, this is what it looks like for now. Um, the next step for me is to add support to the back of it. Um... Once I cut that little piece, we're going to have to add some support because, again, I'm, my goal is have it stand alone. So this is what it looks like now, people. Um, so you can just see how big it is. And I'm 5'7", so this is how big it will look, you know, up against me. This is what it looks like now next to my daughter. That's the zebra standing alone. Thanks for watching. Catch me on all socials. Bye.